What is up, you guys? Vlogmas day 14? 14. 14, right? What was this for? 13? I know. Yeah. Well, next week's the 20th. It's so. 14. I don't know. Let's pray so we can eat. Sorry. Thank you, Father, for this food. Thank you for providing it. Bless the Lord. Bless the hand that made it. Play it. Play it. Clean it. Cleanse it as it enters our body in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. We got me and Ed's. Anthony got a house salad. Um, I we got pizza and we got cinna dots. Cinna dots. Cinna dots. Not cinna dots. What is it? Cinna poppers treats. Yeah. Um. Today is a Monday. I did not vlog. Oh, so I didn't vlog because it was rainy day schedule. It was and we, what we did today, I cut this right. Um, I mean, well, look how flimsy it is. <laughs> What's the wrench? Um, we took Charlie to the vet to get his checkup, and he's a healthy, growing boy. And he weighs 10 pounds. He just needs a $600 oh my tooth gosh. cleaning. I'm like, I'm going to just hold him down and brush his teeth. He don't need it. It's recommended. He don't like, they don't like to get their teeth brushed, but, um, but yeah. Did they give you croutons? There's mm -hmm. croutons all over. Yeah, um, so we, we did that. Now they chopped up. The mushroom. Right? I know. I've seen that one you. Dang, that's a big salad, huh? I'm going to serve food. I'm going to put my food on this. I can see your food. Oh. I'll put my food right here. Oh, I can lower this whole lot. There you go. That was a big salad. Yeah. I didn't think it was this big. Um. And so he, he only got his water towel. We got the warmer and his neck scarred and his nails clipped. Winston got his nails clipped and his neck scarred. Um, after that, we do up with gas and then came home. So uh, we've been watching them well we watched one movie one movie mm, got our first fire got our first fire on i'll enter that clip on the next vlog but it made the house really warm how did it smell when you came in like camp <laughs> why you can't smell anymore no i can um yeah, so not not much to vlog, so it's like, well, I haven't done a mukbang in a while. Pizza and salad. Yes. So you really don't taste the metal when that happened? No. Dang. I wish I didn't. Anthony, um needs a wooden fork. When things come in um metal, aluminum. Foil. When the fork touches that it He could taste it. <laughs> it gives him like a like a metal taste. Aluminum taste. I don't want aluminum metal. Mm. I can't stand that. And it don't go away. Even if you run it through water, it don't go away. You have to actually clean it with soap. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. One in uh, in all creation, I guess that hap that happens too. Um, mm -hmm. I know on some bank channels, like people use wooden forks and spoons because the the subscribers complain about it. 
About what? The noise. Oh. They don't like uh, to hear. Like a Christmas uh, vacation? At dinner? No. Yeah. No. But I guess it's the rub, rubbing on the like a bowl. They feel like you're eating oh. cereal or... I, mean, I don't care for the noise, but it it's doesn't like, annoy me. It's like, come on. Like you, like not you guys, but the subscribers who do complain, it's like you don't... Would you have all wooden spoons and forks in your house? I don't know. It's just people are too much. <laughs> I wouldn't mind trying a wooden fork. I never had one. Try buy one. And then when it's dull, you can sharpen it or what? <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, that's what we did today. And Charlie, he's been good. He did no shots. What? Hey, what? He didn't get no shots. No, he didn't. He, he wasn't due for no shots. He was due for his annual. He got a dewormer. We'll have to give him it tomorrow. That's pretty much it. You guys, in your city, besides the big pizza chains, in the comments, put down what city you're from and your favorite pizza yeah because this is this is a pizza chain here big here in fresno and clovis and there's there's some in the little cities around us and then pismo recently made a me and eds and i think there's one somewhere like in LA area. Oh, really? I think so. Like I in like Santa past. something somewhere out there. I don't know. But I did hear that there was like one out there. I didn't think they went past uh, Big School. Oh, yeah. They did. One. I don't know. Right on. Well, technically, I guess Pismo's past Baker School, but I don't know about far as north. We don't, we don't travel 99. We always cut. So if you're ever around here, try it because it is like, I would say it is the best pizza. <laughs> I would have to say it's the best it's pizza. It's a different kind of pizza. Cause I don't think you would say it's the best. I would say it's the best. Here. here. But if, if there was somebody around here who knew how to make a deep dish pizza, I think you would go for the deep dish pizza over me and that. No? Oh, man. <laughs> That's a high standard. Me and Ned's is a staple. Yeah, but it's you, a you staple. can't, you you can't get emotional okay. when we're making decisions <laughs> like this. My eyes are leaky. <laughs> Put the wrench right here. <laughs> My eyes have been leaking when you laugh. Um, you cannot get this pizza anywhere. The flavor, the taste, you cannot. It's original. People try to copy it. People too. try to copy, it. and one has come close actually. Who? Cool. Two. Pizza Pit. Mm. And that food truck. You mean their crust? Okay. And that food truck. Really? Remember we thought we said it tasted yeah. similar? Brickology. Yeah. Brickology? Brickology. Oh. Yeah. But. Brickology pizza. This is the go-to. This is the go-to. Okay. Put it this way. We don't. We. We would. Buy this over any other chain of pizza. Yeah. And it's good cold. <laughs> That's true. It tastes really good cold. You just got the fridge and eat it. So they stopped making pizzas right now. I mean it? Why? They got a gas leak. 
So the those those were coming out. They had two more minutes and they were gonna turn the the gas off. So everybody who's waiting for a pizza, they're gonna have to wait longer. Oh my god! They're probably done for the night. Hey, you got M Ms? No. We have some. There's more. I don't buy candy no more because we have to sell that Halloween candy. And the ranch. What? You forgot to say how good the ranch is. Oh, the ranch? Okay. Well, those who really. This is the first, first, number one ranch. Number two ranch. Who, what's number two ranch in your opinion? I don't know. Oh, you're making me think. Oh my gosh. Every time you get a sell it, we're like, oh, this ranch is so good. The Chico's. Yes. Sound like the girl on the Four Christmases. Yes. Oh. <laughs> on the game. <laughs> yeah. The Chico's, I don't, the Chico's just here too, huh? Mm-hmm. Y'all need to come to Fresno. The Chico's is uh, from Fresno. Or Clovis. The Chico's an Italian restaurant. Family ran. Very good. But their ranch. Their ranch is good. I was even telling like, what is it? But you know what is also good there? And if you are local and you haven't tried it, their clam chowder is bomb. Oh yeah, they have good clam chowder. I don't know anybody that has clam chowder like them. It's not like Japan. What? What's the place? Giovanni. No, the Grotto. It's not um, like the Grotto in Monterey, but it's good for around here. Mm -hmm. I would say they had the best in, in this area. Clam chowder? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They have good clam chowder. And it actually has clams. It's not just potatoes. Yeah. We were watching um this guy. What's his name? You Mark Weens? Yeah. Everybody knows Mark Weens except for you. I know who he is. I just don't know his name. Um he uh he's been in California. And he was in San Francisco. I wanna go to that place. Um the old, the old one. Mm -hmm. Um, we've been watching his, his show. Um, you know, because we do go to San Francisco before the pandemic. We went every year, and he we went to places that we don't go because we just go to the kind of the staples there. And so Anthony, he seen you know where he was eating, and so he's gonna, we're gonna, it, when we go. He's gonna, we're gonna go to that restaurant. Sometime next year, hopefully. Yeah. So a while ago, California put a mandate out that we have to wear Star Wars masks again indoors for a month. Like literally a while ago, like an hour, two hours ago, starting on Wednesday. It was breaking news. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm so over this pandemic it's just wow it's just weird that they don't talk about how much it's spreading and all of a sudden well maybe i don't look at the news enough but all of a sudden they're putting a mask mandate well mm. you guys know me i don't like wearing them and i had um plans this week Wow. Well, let's we'll see what happens. I have to, I have to. This has been so nice not wearing it. Like, I don't feel, I don't feel how I do when I have it on, which is, I feel like I'm in a panic. That's how I feel when I'm in the store. I feel rushed. I can't breathe. And that's because. I, I'm home. I work from home. So I don't have to go out there, you know, when the pandemic was was worse and 
and everyone had to wear their masks to work. I don't do that, so I don't have it on. People get used to it. I'm not used to it. It, it took me a while to get used to it. It took me about two weeks to learn how to breathe in there. This sucks. But it is what it is. So, we're getting closer to Christmas. What are you guys doing this year? Last year was strange. <coughs> Last year? Oh. Yeah. It was already shut down. Yep. This year, though, is different, I, I, I think. Was it just us or everybody was? Um, everybody. The whole country? Oh, you mean like the United, the, just California? Mm -hmm. I think it was just California. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. But, um, I'm gonna have dessert. Um, we are going to stay home and we're going to cook and um play games play games and yeah we already have our menu we already have our list and we're gonna stay home and enjoy it in the comfort of our own home and put on a fire <coughs> and chill <coughs> oh, oh, oh. okay so good um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. What are you guys going to do? Are you guys going <clears> to <throat> go with family? Mm. They're super soft, but they're not done. No. no they're done. Wow. If they're almost done. Just like I said, they're they're about ready to shut down the ovens down. Mm -hmm. I think what they're gonna do is shut them down, but leave the one I guess as many as they need on to finish the pe the pizzas that are already in there. So they already they had brand new pizzas in there. So what do they what do they do? Have to call PG&E? Well, if the leak is inside the restaurant. No. They gotta fix it themselves. If it's outside, then yeah, they call PG&E. But it's inside. It has to do something with the ovens, or because I thought you know, if you smell gas, you have to get out of the house and all that stuff well, and yeah. call PG&E. But that don't go the same way for restaurants. Yeah, I'll do the same for, for restaurants, but depends on where the leaks at, though, too. I mean, I'm thinking if they know where their leak is, then, you know, they turn it off and fix it. I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you this much. You don't get special treatment when you're a business. Compared to being at home. No. Uh-uh. They'll get there when they get there. How you say? <laughs> How do you say it? I don't remember. What does it say? Oh my gosh, I'm bottom now. That's your favorite part. Mm -hmm. When I get there? Or if I get there? Ah. Oh. Uh, we still need to do that. I don't know. Movie have you guys line. seen that on Disturbia? Have you guys seen Disturbia? We oh, got gets the call, and it's he, the last call. Yeah, it's the last call. He's in a big old burger or a sandwich or something, and he says that he gets a call in, and he goes, he says, "What is he saying?" The lady says something. Yeah. <clears throat> and then he's like, when I get His there. whole mouth like shifts. 
Because <laughs> he, he just and, takes a bite. Yeah, and he was like chewing and all this. Is, I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. His whole mouth shifts and all his, all his teeth chewing all his food. <laughs> When I get there. When I get there, I think. No, I don't sound right. Mm. But he was being smart. Yeah, he was being smart. Like if he's like, yeah, whatever. That was good. Thank you. Was good. Yeah. But anyway. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, so what are you guys doing for Christmas? And what are you guys doing for New Year's Eve? We're staying home. Fireworks. <laughs> yeah, we stay home. We're, we're home. Home bodies. No, nothing out there for us. <sighs> I'll be working. But trouble on Christmas Eve? I mean, New Year's Eve? Yeah, I'll both. But you take, day, you take time. You take the day off. Not Christmas. New Year's Eve. Oh, New Year's Day? You're going to take it off? Only if it's on a Sunday or a Monday. <sighs> that was probably a Sunday you're thinking of. Uh, Christmas Day and Christmas Eve. I hey. mean, Christmas Day and New Year's Day. Yeah. You know, we should go on New Year's Day because we always go out to eat on for breakfast, don't we? Yeah. We should go to 7. 7? You just show the bubble. Um... restaurant it has good breakfast <clears throat> all right you guys i am going to end all this vlog so i can just load it up for you guys Man, their cheese is so good you guys, what kind of cheese is it it's cheddar sweet cheddar the crust it has a cheese flavor to it like a cheese like it a almost. cheese it all right but their cheese is good too Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up. Thumb it up. Oh, there it is. There it is. Hey. Those are our money makers. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't. And we will see you tomorrow in a couple hours. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Bye. Tuesday.